Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna show you how we cook Lebanese food. Uh, this is a cheap alternative to your regular Western lunch and it's a little bit healthier, although you have to uh, fry the falafel. But yeah, it's really good. So we bought this from our um, Middle Eastern store here in Germany and they are already cooked but you just have to fry them a little bit that's the falafel and this one has 800 grams and we pay around 2 euro 2 euro 50 that's pretty cheap that's the lebanese bread and we paid 40 cents that was a really good price we've got some hummus and we paid 90 cents and some stuffed grape leaves and we paid 1 euro 90 first things first we're gonna prepare the falafel the oil is ready now and it's hot and I'm adding the falafel Okay, I'm gonna flip them now. They just need to be fried about one minute on each side, not longer than that. They're done now. And I have this plate here and I have put some paper towels to absorb all the oil. Add some more in the pan. Now they're ready to be flipped on the other side. And they're done. Now we're gonna prepare the hummus and I'm showing you guys the can. So I'm gonna dump it into this bowl. Okay, there is a little bit left on the bottom of the pan. Oops. I'm gonna add some salt. can taste it later and if it needs more so we can add some more and some olive oil that should be enough and I'm gonna mix it
think everything is welcome by now. Next, I'm going to add about one teaspoon of ground cumin powder. Well, this is a bigger teaspoon, so I'm just going to use half of that. And I'll mix it again. some lime or you can use lemon or just lemon juice and mix it again next I'm gonna add a tablespoon of chickpeas transfer the hummus in a nice serving dish Okay, now I'm gonna try to level it up with the back of the spoon. And now I'm gonna add some more chickpeas right in the center. sesame seeds and I'm just gonna sprinkle them all over and now I'm gonna add some za'atar and I'll show you the bag This is Lebanese za'atar, but you can find lots of different varieties. This one contains, let me see if I, if I can find the English translation. Yeah, it contains thyme, sumac, sesame seeds, and salt. And this is how it looks like. and some more olive oil. And in the center. Now I'm gonna turn the plate to make sure that we distribute the olive oil evenly all over the hummus. Now we're going to move to our stuffed grape leaves, which are called warak anab in Arabic. This is how they look like. 
gonna try to take them out without breaking them. Here they are. Now there is some leftover oil in the can and I like to add it on top of the stuffed grape, grape leaves. And now I'm gonna add some lemon lime actually. And happy dinner for us. We made some salad and that's the falafel. You can serve it with um, the hummus, which is here. It turned out really great. Or you can serve it with some ketchup, if you like. Is the bread, the Lebanese bread, and that's the stuffed grape leaves. Along with this wonderful dinner, you can serve some Arabic coffee, which is cordamon coffee. Or with some cardamom tea. It's Salem tea, so it's black tea. My husband is a huge fan of uh, tea and coffee from that part of the world. Thank you for watching the video. If you like, if you um, enjoy um, Middle Eastern food, let me know down in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!